Hello, this is Natalie with MoxieTonic.com and today's tutorial is going to show you how you can set up an email newsletter with MailChimp that's totally connected and integrated with your Etsy shop. It takes less than 10 minutes to set this up so if you don't already have a MailChimp account go over to MailChimp.com it's free and and you can send as many emails as you want under this free account. So set that up and then head on back for this tutorial. Now if you're here ready to go with your tutorial on how to set up your email newsletter, simply go to your dashboard, click Create Campaign, and choose Regular Old Campaign. Choose a subscription list that you're going to send to. And then we're going to start naming your campaign. This is all going to be internal. And if you've never sent anything, all of this is going to be blank. So I'm just going to erase this because the data is going to go somewhere else. This is for my own use. This is my very first email for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to name it number one. I'm going to give it a title because I know what my subject's going to be. I want to send from me with my company name after it because I want people to know they're doing business with a person. People like to do pe business with people rather than some huge corporate entity, especially if they're shopping on Etsy. But I put my company name in the from name as well because that's what's big and plastered at the top of my Etsy shop. That's what new people to my list are going to recognize more than my personal name. Then of course I'm going to stick an email in here if people need to reply to me. I want them to be able to reach me directly. And I'm going to turn off the personalization field. You can put in merge tags that will say, hi David or hi Betsy, whoever. But if David and Betsy didn't capitalize their name when they sent or when they subscribe to your list, it will show it uncapitalized and it looks really, really bad. So unless you know your list is really clean, don't personalize. Choose the tracking options, which will give you data about your click throughs and the other results you're getting from your email newsletter choose Google Analytics that means that you can go to your Google Analytics for your Etsy shop and see what pages people visited by clicking from your email newsletter onto your Etsy shop you'll see which items they viewed how many people did if they bought based off of you clicking on that it's just it's really cool and you can start to really judge the ROI of your email newsletter always 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 integrate with your social media this is tricky to get set up on MailChimp so I have a separate tutorial if you want to get these auto tweets and auto posts set up and I'll link to that in the body of the post for this tutorial we're ready to move on to the part where we integrate with Etsy. I'm going to choose Auto Connect, select Etsy, and here you can see that it has pulled in my shop banner. It pulled in the colors. I've got this cool orange because I use orange in my shop. It pulls in my welcome message, which will change in a minute, um, because you don't want that on every single email that you send. And the coolest part of all, it shows you the most recently featured listings. And people can click on them. They're linked directly to your shop. It shows you how much. It shows you what they are. This, and you haven't hard, had to do hardly any work. Let's talk though just for a minute about what kind of content you want to provide in your email newsletter. Number one, it should not be long. 
because people don't have time to read long things. But number two, it should not always be, uh, hey, look at all my cool stuff in my store, please buy it. That's going to get old and people are going to stop reading your newsletter if they are not getting any value out of it other than a chance to look at your store. Some ideas that I would use for my shop because I do social media icons, I would start talking about my product and I would say, I would have an email that tells you all the places you can use your icons on your blog, on your social media accounts, in your email newsletters. Just, you know, maybe a paragraph or two giving people ideas. Um, I would also, you know, maybe talk about the different types of files, JPEGs versus GIFs or what have you. Um, in this one, you noticed I titled it, um, Get the Most Out of Your Icons. And so I would come in here and I would create a little um, article about that. You can completely customize all of the language in there just by clicking on the actual, this area right here. You can see what it looks like in the pop-up preview. And you can see that there's a Facebook like button. You may also want to add more social media sharing buttons, but I'd be careful not to get people too distracted if your main purpose is to get them to buy down here. And from here, we go to the plain text version of your email. Some people will have preferences set that they only want plain text, which means they're not going to get the pretty pictures. It also means that the links are going to look like garbage. I would take all of this bottom part out. Just leave the bulk of your message and then put in a very, very simple link to your store. Most people are going to see your pretty HTML version, but this just also helps it get past the spam filters if you're including a plain text version as well. This last step, you get to double check one more time how everything works and all the settings you have and you can edit. And then you can schedule the delivery or send now to your list. And there you have it. In less than 10 minutes, you have set up your very first email newsletter for your Etsy shop. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in this post or go ahead and email me directly um, by clicking on the little email button on the top right corner of my blog. Thanks again and I hope to see you next time for another tutorial on creating email newsletters.